everybody, I'm Mark, owner and founder of Cocktail Culture from right here in Greensboro, North Carolina. And I'm also a good friend of the Volunteer Center. I'm here to walk you through your signature cocktail for tonight's ceremonies called the Island Time. So if you're ready, let's make a cocktail. So a great garnish, if you know how to cut it, is a pineapple wedge. So that's what I'm gonna show you now, is how to break a pineapple down into garnishes of pineapple wedges. So we'll lay it on its side, we're gonna cut the top off, and we're gonna save this so we can use these prawns or leaves for garnishes as well. So we'll just set this aside. Now, the reason we always cut the top off, not only to save it for the prawns, is so that we have a flat surface to work with. Because pineapples are round and they roll around, it's a little dangerous. So, taking our knife, we're gonna go right down the middle and cut it in half. So that we have two halves. Again, we have a flat surface to work with. So we're gonna lay this side down and we're gonna do the same thing again and go right down through the middle of it. Okay, now you can kind of start to see the basic shape of the wedge taking shape there. But this part of the pineapple is the core and it's inedible. So we wanna remove that. So the easiest way to do it is to, again, turn it up on the top on the flat surface we cut initially. And if you'll look right here, you can actually see where the core is. So it gives you a guide as to where to cut it out. So if you just cut straight down that, you'll remove the core and be left with good edible pineapple. Take your knife, put a small slit in just through the side of it, maybe about a half an inch deep. And then all you gotta do after that is cut them. That's how you cut a pineapple wedge. The cocktail uses rum, ginger liqueur, a little bit of fresh lime juice, and pineapple juice. Plus, there's a non-alcoholic variety I'm gonna teach you as well. So, let's get started. We're gonna take a nice shot of rum, which the great thing is, is if you don't like rum, you'd rather have vodka or tequila or gin, all those would work as well too. We've got a little ginger liqueur here. Next, we're gonna put a couple ounces of pineapple juice. And we're gonna use just a little bit of fresh lime juice. Perfect. Put a little ice in here. We're gonna give this a good shake. There we go. That's what I like to call shaky, shaky, shaky for everybody watching at home. We're gonna strain this over some crushed ice. If you don't have crushed ice, don't worry. It works just as well with regular ice. And then next, we're gonna to top it with a little bit of vanilla soda. If you don't wanna use vanilla soda, that's totally fine. Use ginger beer, use club soda, flavored seltzer, Sprite, it's totally up to you. Now, take a little pineapple wedge, put that right on the edge of the glass. And these are the prawns or the leaves from the top of the pineapple. They make a fantastic garnish. We're gonna slide these in right next to that pineapple wedge. So that's island time, that's the adult version. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make a non-alcoholic version of the island time so everybody can join in the fun. It's basically the same thing without the alcohol. So, we're gonna take some fresh lime juice. We're gonna take pineapple juice again, but we're just gonna double the amount. So we're gonna basically give ourselves something to work with. Now we're gonna throw a little bit of ice in it again. Give it the same shaky, shaky, shaky treatment. Pour the ice and everything right into this glass. And then we're gonna split. We top it with vanilla soda and with a little bit of ginger beer. Of course, the ginger beer is not alcoholic. Same garnishes, nice pineapple wedge. A couple of pineapple prawns for the perfect non-alcoholic accompaniment to the island time. Congratulations to all of tonight's honorees and thank you all for everything you do for our community. Hope you enjoy yourselves tonight. Cheers.